We're just hours away from opening night for the Sphere. You two the first to perform an all day, a lot of activity. It'll intensify in just a few hours time. So if you're heading there, 8 News Now reporter Lauren Negretti is live with the best way to get inside, Lauren. By car, ride share, monorail, or your own two feet, the trek to the Sphere at 255 Sands Avenue is customizable. We're walking, we're yeah. staying over at the MGM, and so we got tram passes to come over here. Gary and Emily Wilmoth plan to cut through on the Venetian Pedestrian Bridge, which takes you right to the venue and connects to the ride share spot. The Wilmoths have tickets both opening weekend nights and again in December. Our wedding song is All I Want Is You. Yeah, we've been listening to them since high school, so we're high school sweethearts, so yep. we've been together for 35 years. You two is awesome. I've been to a number of their shows. Vincent and Jennifer Peters loaded up on merch. For the grandkids. They're walking from Harrah's. That's the best stop for a monorail ride. Six dollars one way, and it's about a 20-minute walk. There are parking options. The Spear.com is offering opening weekend parking for $70 at the Howard Hughes Lots off Manhattan. For other events, the site takes you to Ticketmaster to buy parking. Prices then range from $40 to $100, $125 for valet. You can park at nearby casinos and pay their rates. Visitor self-parking at the Venetian ranges from $15 to $23 depending on the day. Locals get three hours free. The first four hours are free at the Win and Encore. It's $20 for the day. Wristband wearing buddies James Copeland and Chris Combs, like many others, traveling far and wide to see the band and be the first inside. You don't realize how big it is until you get right up on it, so it is, it is impressive. We're on the GA on the floor. It's going to be fantastic. little technical hiccup at the top of that there. What I was going to say was that if you are coming by Uber or ride share out here, you're going to want to go to Sands and Koval. Now I'm told by security that that pickup zone is going to be within the Wynn parking garage, the Wynn employee parking garage, and accessible by that pedestrian bridge. Now I'm actually standing in one of those Howard Hughes lots out here. That is one of the options. And again, I'm told by some staff out here that more options will open up once F1 is over as far as for parking is concerned. Now some quick reminders, the Sphere is a no bag facility. so. Only small bags are allowed, and it's a cashless venue. Reporting live near the Sphere, Lauren Negretti, 8 News Now. Back to you guys.